In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and doing some testing on this Zotac GeForce GT640 graphics card. It's 2 gigabyte of memory. It's a quick look at the box. Extended warranty. Around there. Next generation performance. It's supporting up to 4 HD displays. Alright, now let's open this bad boy up. Let's see what we get inside. This must be the graphics card in there. Okay, so we get some papers and manuals. Uh, we've got Zotac Boost Premium. We've got the extended warranty information. There is the user manual. And then we have this promotional card for Trackmania. Oh, it's a three day game pass. And we've got a Zotac installation DVD with some software in the drivers, but I would recommend downloading the newest ones from the website. And then a nice case badge, just a little big for my taste, but it still looks nice. Okay, now pick that stuff aside, and let's get down to why we bought it. Oh. Included is a DVI to VGA adapter. And then we have the card itself. This is a single slot version. Big heat sink. Little bitty fan, so I'm kind of curious as to the cooling capabilities of this. It looks awfully small. It does. Then on this side here, we've got uh, three connectors. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're including a cable. They are not. They're not including a cable for mini HDMI to full HDMI. But I suppose, you know, for around $100, that's what you get. So anyway, we'll plug this guy in and we'll see what the 640 does as far as performance wise. Okay, so we got the Zotac on the test bench. And I'll bring you a little closer in here. This test bench is an EVGA X58 SLI3 classified motherboard. I've got it uh, plugged in there to the uh, first PCI Express lane that is a full 16 lane the processor I'm using is a i7 920 at stock frequency 2.6 gigahertz I've got 12 gigabytes of RAM there's three sticks four gigs each and this little dongle here is the EVGA power boost uh, when I had this set up earlier I was doing some tri SLI stuff and so I used that uh, particular little guy there uh, especially when I'm using SLI or uh, Tri SLI, just to make sure that the the uh, PCI Express is getting enough uh, 12 volts. So anyway, that's the test bench, and right now we are running 3D Mark 11, and this is the performance mode. So you can see it's a little choppy, but you know, out of this uh, GT 640, just not expecting the world anyway but I wanted to see how well it handles some minor direct X gaming and we'll also see what kind of temperatures we get right now we're about uh, 24 degrees Celsius in the room so we'll take uh, temperatures after that from the card and see what we come up with when this is done Okay, so the test has been completed on 3D Mark 11, and we see a max uh, temperature of the graphics card on the test bench at 49 degrees, so that's 25 degrees above ambient temperature. And we had a P score of 1603 and the graphics score of 1433. So it's a little weak, but um, honestly, I didn't expect that much out of this card anyway, being that it's not really made for heavy gaming. But anyway, I'm going to run an extreme setting now, 
and we'll see how well it does or if it even runs uh, 3D Mark 11 on the extreme setting and I'll get back with you okay so we have an X score of 615 points which is way low but like I said not a gaming card so you know it's still at least ran the tests so that's definitely good and we had a max temperature of 49 degrees again so we were yep right in there at 25 degrees delta so that will wrap it up for the Zotac card there and as always thank you for watching